Dan and Megan, you have both dedicated your professional lives to broadcasting and to journalism, bringing news to New York City and beyond. And as fate would have it, you also found love in that very same newsroom. You've been able to work side by side, sharing your passion for news and each other. Your dating life sort of began across the street at Jake's Bar. And even though that bar is now gone, your romance gets better and better. I have always looked up to my sister. Growing up, I wanted to do everything she did. I studied her every move since I can remember. Her confidence, her intelligence, her general ability to talk to anyone and do anything with such ease. Thank you for everything you did. I don't know not make me cry. <laughs> Looking fresh. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Give it Go! Ah! How did it get taken in three times? I gotta get out, gotta go for those friends! Dan, in addition to taking these vows and promising to love and honor you for as long as we both shall live, and look ahead to our future, I can't help but look to the past and how grateful I am for you and our past few years together. I know marriage isn't easy and we'll have our struggles, but no matter what, I promise to stick with you, love you, never forget the feeling I have looking at you in this very moment, and never forget those two coworkers who went for a casual drink after work. I love you. Through sickness and in health, good times or bad times, rich times, and poor times. Daniel Day-Lewis movies or Tom Hanks movies. <laughs> I promise to always have your back and be both your loudest cheerleader and most loyal teammate, as I know you'll be mine. Too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy. And by the power vested in me by the state of New York, it is my great pleasure to pronounce you as husband and wife. Dan, you may kiss your bride. He's, he's been an amazing friend to me and someone that I've really valued in my life. And here we are today, and it is uh, something to see. And I, I wish you guys both nothing but happiness, and I love you both, um, and cheers. Instead of a speech, I wrote you guys a song. And if you can come up to the dance floor, please. When I met Dan for the first time, we quickly bonded over our love of bourbon, food, and the fact that we are both planners. In between our many old fashions and good conversation, I saw the way he looked at my sister, and I knew that was it. Thank you for taking care of her and loving her unconditionally. I love you, Dan, and I'm so happy to finally have a brother. Megan and Dan, it's obvious how much you love and cherish each other and how kind and considerate you are and how much fun you have together. You two are lucky to have each other. I love you both so much, and may you be blessed in your new life together.